Well, they knew he was hiding somewhere. Hi, everyone. I am going to be reviewing today. I already have it on my eyes that I'm uploading different clips to Instagram. But the Olivia eyeliner, which I have on, and the Olivia concealer. Now, the eyeliner I'm actually very impressed with because my non-eye hand coordination ass was able to actually make my eyeliner look decent. I think that the trick for me, for those of you who have trouble with eyeliner, is use your, and this is not the right one, that, or not the one that I use, use your brush, do an outline, then go in with your actual eyeliner and go over it. Because it's easier to wipe off, obviously, the eye, sh eye shadow than having to do all this. Um, now, this is the box that comes in. It's color eyeliner, so you could get it in different colors. I want black. So this is Olivia, Out of Zion, The Perfection of Beauty. It's a pretty box. And then, of course, when it's in the box, let me put it in the box. You see the diamond in it. I think that's cute. And I saw their advertisement on Instagram, and I never buy anything just because I saw it on Instagram. Except for one thing, I bought the little airless pumps. Like, if you know, you know. And I put my... Uh, lotion it my facial lotion in it no need to buy like drunk elephant stuff and that was the point of the thing on instagram is like don't spend all your money just do this okay anyway here's what it looks like and take it off i love this you have so much control and it helps like it really helps if you struggle or you have shaky hands maybe you're older and it, it just helps it helps me and um and I was so attracted to how it looked. I was like looking on Amazon and everything, and I couldn't find it. So I had to go to their website and I ordered them. So altogether, I think it was around twenty-four dollars for the both the things and the shipping. Which the shipping was quick. It was I can't complain about the shipping. The shipping. This is just a pretty like container. It's not a bottle. It's a container. It's very very pretty. It's very, very attractive, even just without the lid. If you see somebody using it, like, it catches the eye. Um, Olivia is on it. There you go. Uh, Olivia's on it, and it's felt. And I tried to steer clear of felt because it creases a lot. But I don't have any problems with this creasing. Um, if you get what I mean by creasing, like, feathering, is that the word? Like, it looks like you used a marker, and unless you want to look like you, it's obvious that you used a marker, you usually don't want to look like that. Anyway, and, by the way, I cut this wig, and I like it. I would cut it myself. Yeah, it's not all the way even, but I guess if you're doing, like, a, what is it called? Asymmetrical? It's not going to be even all the way around. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> better than the long it's it's cute it's flirty i like how i like the vibes anyway and i was too lazy to lay down my edges so i just put a uh, lace front band on and it looks like a headband so anyway let me i have let's get into this because this is another reason we're here this on this side i have my maybelline superstay and on this side i have the Physician's Formula, this is new, and I got this to review as well. Um, sometime I'll just review it by itself, but the Physician's Formula, Butter Believe It, Better Believe It, Butter Believe It, uh, Foundation Plus Concealer. And it's for all skin types, and let's see, it's deep to rich. So, so a lot of times, things that say deep, I have trouble, like I've said in my first video, I have trouble knowing exactly what I am. <laughs> it's hard to know sometimes because you look at this and say, this is her color, right? And this side, let me get my situation situated. I'm bringing my lamp closer. Okay. Like this side, it's darker. You can tell it's darker. And then this t side, you can tell it's lighter. I don't think either side looks bad to me. Because when I first put this on, 
I was like, let me get all up in this gig. Okay. Let me get closer. You can tell if this is darker and you can tell this is lighter. You just can't. But I don't think it's horrible. I think I could go either way. That's my problem is I could go either way with it. Like, that's why I have trouble ordering foundation because sometimes the dark, the darkest, not the darkest, because now they add more shades, thank goodness, for other darker skinned women. And I learned that I am not the darkest skinned woman on the planet, but um, I'm one of the darkest shades in a lot of uh, foundation lineups. And sometimes I'm not. Like, on this side, I don't think it looks bad. I don't think it's 2016, nobody makes correct shades, so now you're stuck with this. I don't feel that. I, I'm not giving, I'm not, this is not giving that, like, there was not enough shades for me. It doesn't give that for my, to me. It does. Anyway, so, I'm gonna finish my makeup. I haven't put any powder, no contour, no, no nothing on. So, I'm going to, if this hair gets out of my fucking face, well... Handy dandy mirror. Um, oh my gosh, if this wig would get out of my face. Okay, there is the mascara on, and let me, I should have put this back in the box, but I did. I need to touch up a little bit. I didn't want to deal with brows today, so it looks fine, we'll live. The look isn't ruined, and I can do this on a camera. Okay, touch up complete. And after a touch up, you know what we do? We spray, of course. Anyway, um, I've actually put this on before and worn it for a full day, so I feel very comfortable talking about Physician's Formula. If if it's very, it is butter. It's buttery, it's creamy. I feel it's heavier. It's much heavier of a formula than this. This is very light. This to me is much more heavy. Um, to, for me, it's not too heavy for me. But to some people, they might not like this formula. Um, and I said I was going to be reviewing more drugstore brands and Physicians Formula and be found at like Walgreens and every other place. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and I like it. I would use this regularly. I wore it for a full day. There was no, like, it never got cakey to me. Let me see. Like, it's, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know. I, it's not cake. I feel on... I'm a dry skin person. <laughs> it sounds funny to say, but I am. Um, on a different person, I feel like it could be cakey. I feel like that. Um, it does well with the coverage. Like, I usually have a dark spot right here. You can barely see it. So the coverage, I have nothing to complain about the coverage. Um, let me, there we go. I didn't lay down the eyebrows either, so they're just doing their thing. Which is okay. We can have wild eyebrows from once. I think we're dry now. Now, let's go in with the concealer. I'm not impressed with this packaging. I'm just going to be honest, Olivia. 
I am not impressed with it. Yes, I'm glad. And I, to be told, I did like do a little sample, not on my face, but like my hand, like a couple days ago. So there's like dirty on the box. But I'm glad it tells you like all the ingredients and all this good stuff. If you can see it. There we go. But I feel the, the packaging could be better. I feel the packaging could be better. Um, that's just me. I'm glad that it has like the their brand. I guess it's for darker skin people. I'm not sure. A dark, very dark skinned black girl was in the advertisement. So I don't know. I'm not sure if it's a black owned brand. I have the, they have like a pamphlet that they put in the package, the mailer. Um, so I don't want to like shit on someone who's like starting up. Now this I have no complaints about. I have no claim complaints about this packaging and I, I it's it's perfect. It's very professional looking. I just feel like you, you could do better than this. That's just me. Okay. I don't like that it runs up the stick. I don't I don't I think we could do better. I do like the wand more than I like the I think it's the color pop concealer I do like a thicker wand I don't like that the makeup goes all the way up the wand though and I did not do that so well it was this way I only got it out to swatch it on my hand it was that means it's overfilled at least for lip glosses if it's running up the, the wand you overfilled it so I don't like that but I will say on the site, it's sort of hard to know what shade you're getting because on the site, this looked a lot lighter than what it is. I'm not complaining totally. I'm just pointing out things like to, for me, it was hard to, to know what, what brush am I using? It was hard to know what shade you were actually picking. I would have preferred a lighter shade, but again, I'm not like upset about it. I have tried darker ones and I said I wanted to try darker ones because really it's more realistic to have darker shades because I mean the light light looks good if you're going to go on stage and perform. It doesn't look good. If you're just going outside like a normal person. Like even to just a regular event. Okay, I'm going to go get my sponge and sponge this down. So I forgot to actually do that again. Okay. Thank you. 
spray. The darker gives a more natural look. Like, I would, if I wanted to do high glam, obviously I would do a lighter concealer. The concealer is not bad. I like the consistency of it. It feels nice when it goes on. And you can barely tell that I put any on. In a good way. And it wasn't hard to blend. Some concealers I've had in the past were very, very hard to blend. So, of course, a sponge makes all the difference, but, or otherwise you just sit there forever, blending, 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 blending. At least for me, other people may have better skills than me. I'm going on with the banana powder, of course. I do lighter on top. <laughs> Let me get this hair out of the way. So I could powder my ear. Okay. Okay, I think that's dry. Um, let's do, well, I'll do the powder first, meaning the blush, the blush powder. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. okay.
Okay, there's the blush. Do I really want to do anything else? Not really. I was going to put on some bronzer, but never mind. I'm actually liking the, this side. The Physician's Formula side takes makeup better than the Maybelline Skin Tint. I don't know why, I just am. Okay, anyway, I like the Physician's Formula. I'm sort of liking this side with the Physician's Formula more. Because I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't say, because I like them. I don't know. Maybe I just like the makeup that I did. <laughs> Maybe that's just what it is. Um. The makeup, let me look. I feel like this side is smoother. That's what it is. I think this side goes on a little bit smoother. Um, that being the Physician's Formula has a more smooth application. I think that's it. I like them both, of course. As for Olivia's eyeliner, And I'm going to be fixing this all night because I'm a perfectionist. But, at least with eyeliner. I should have bought this before I tried the Urban Decay eyeliner. That was just a waste of my time. Urban Decay needs to take notes from Olivia. I like What I liked about the Urban Decay is how you could hold it and have control. And I still like that design. This just... It hits the ground running. It actually works when you buy it. And I learned that I was not the only one who disliked the Urban Decay or had issues with it. Not disliked, but had issues with it. A lot of people had issues with it coming. And I didn't even order it off of Amazon. I went to Sephora and bought the Urban Decay eyeliner myself. It should not be dried out in the store. You know? So, and then I order this and it comes shipped and it's not dried out. So, Olivia wins hands down with this eyeliner. I will be using this. I will be using this. To me, it's a 10 out of 10. Um, I was let down by the concealer in certain aspects where the packaging of the concealer could be better. Again, I don't like that all the makeup is all over the wand and it's not in the, the tube. I like the tube. I like the idea and the concept of it. It's more like a lip gloss tube. So maybe they need to rethink that and have it more like Urban Decay or um, ColourPop container. I don't know. But this isn't it. And you, again, usually with lip glosses, if it's all up the tube, you overfilled it. And usually with lip gloss, there's a stopper. There is no stopper in this. So I don't know. I just think they need to rethink that. Do I think the ultimate product is bad? No. I would give it a 7, out of half, seven and a half out of 10. Um, would I, I would pick the wand over the color pop. I would, I feel like I would still grab the color pop concealer over this, to be perfectly honest. I think the, the downsides just were too much. Do I think the product is trash? No. Do I, it's not garbage, but I'm not impressed. I'm keeping this. I'm not throwing it away. Don't get it twisted. But would I reach for this before I reach for the ColourPop? No. That's what I mean. I, I would reach for the ColourPop before this. Just because... I, I don't feel like it. it's doing anything miraculous. And again, on the website, it's hard to tell. This is a 90. On the website, it looks lighter when you look, you're looking at it on the website. So, I don't know. I think there's just a little issue with there. Now, if I don't know if Olivia's in like stores, so you could go there and go to like a, I've never seen them in Sephora or Ulta. So, if you could just go to a store and see the colors that you wanted, 
or it's just online. I'm not sure, but I think they need to do better representing the shades. That's what I think and feel. As far as Physician's Formula, um, I will be using this. This is like a 8 out of 10. Super safe, of course. I said it was a 10 out of 10, and it is. So, anyway, that was my review of the Olivia products. I, again, they're not bad. Like I said, the eyeliner is a 10 out of 10. I think this is better than any eyeliner I've used. You have more control. The product is better. It's not drying out. It's not dried out. You don't have to push down to make sure it's going on the eye smoothly. It does what it needs to do. That's why this is a 10 out of 10. As far as the concealer, there's nothing special about it. I think I might move it down to a 5.5 out of 10. It's, it's really not that special. Is it trash? No. But I'm I'm not seeing anything special about Olivia. So <laughs> um, that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all later.